We have a national crisis in relation to domestic and family violence. One in five women, one in 20 men over the age of 15 have experienced domestic violence. That means every single one of us knows someone who is a victim. For me, it started very early on. I was at the shops and I bought some flowers and he didn't believe me that I'd bought my own flowers. And to try and make a joke of the situation, I said, well, I am capable of buying my own flowers, darling. And out of nowhere came the first physical assault. Increasingly, we are seeing the evidence of the impact of domestic violence on children. You know, there was a lot of bullying of my child, being told that he wasn't good enough or, you know, being told that he wasn't working hard, studying hard enough. I don't think I'll ever forgive myself for allowing that to happen to him and inviting that person into our lives. DV Connect is Queensland's largest hotline for women seeking refuge from domestic and family violence. We take about 98,000 phone calls annually from women seeking refuge. Last year we housed um, 3,300 women and children um, in refuges across Queensland. Once uh, the time and the, the refuge is over, there's often not a lot of places where people can spend some time to re-establish, get their life back together. Uh, and here we have uh, two uh, giants of uh, corporate Australia, uh, Mervac and Halcyon, uh, come together to deliver what is an Australian first, a custom-built transition housing for women and children escaping domestic and family violence. The idea was born one day at my local deli when I was reading the paper and having breakfast and on the front page was an article about domestic violence and the fact that there had been no refuges built on the Gold Coast in particular um, for over 12 years. So as I was reading that I was just very upset I guess that women were in these situations and had nowhere to go and being um, involved in a company that builds houses I thought possibly we could do something about it. One of Halcyon's values is treat others how you like to be treated yourself and this project fits perfectly within that value. Um, so when Marie brought the project idea to Bevan and I, it just fitted perfectly within that value and it was a wonderful opportunity to bring us together as an organisation and ultimately form that closer relationship with Mervac. It was a really obvious thing for us to want to be part of and it's been a real eye-opener for me personally and for, I think for many people in Mervac just how prevalent domestic violence is in our community and how poor the resources are for helping people um, to escape domestic violence situations. So uh, being a white ribbon accredited organisation, it was very easy for us to say yes and donate the land and work with Halcyon to build the house and to bring in all of our subcontractors and suppliers, 90 of them who've worked on this with us. So it was a real collaborative effort and a very, e very easy thing to say yes to. So as soon as Marie told me about the project, I was, uh, I was really excited. It was something that was very close personally to me, uh, having family affected by um, domestic violence. We lost my cousin. It was um, very sudden and I think if she'd found somewhere where she could go that didn't put any of her family in danger, she would have got out of there a lot sooner. The more we went on this journey, the more we realised the scale of the issue. And so right at the very onset, we decided that if we were going to do this, we were going to do it so that, that it could be replicated. We realised it needed to be replicated. They approached us and said, how do we build this? Um, how do we build it right? And then what is it that we need to make this successful? And what they need is, um, you have to have people that have a really nuanced understanding of domestic and family violence doing this work. Because if you don't understand the risk that sits around domestic and family violence and the trauma that's experienced by the victims, you won't have the same outcomes. The women that are leaving these situations, they're seven times more at risk of death, not just physical assault, of death. So it was very important to us that we accomplished two things, that the women do feel safe here, but also they feel a sense of normalcy. Re-entering life without that fear and transitioning from fear to peace and security. Well, the project is a, a normal looking house, but inside it's got five apartments, if you like. 
two one-bedders, two two-bedders and one three-bedder. Each of them have got bedrooms and a kitchenette and a small living area. But then there are communal areas inside the house as well. Uh, so it's quite a unique way of using the exterior of a house, but the interior is something that's really purpose-built to suit the requirements of people who are escaping out of domestic violence, no longer in acute stress. This is uh, more long-term, giving people respite to reshape their lives. I think the beauty of having some shared spaces here is it provides the opportunity for peer debriefing or peer support. You can overcome that sense of shame because there's so much shame around disclosing um, your story around domestic and family violence. So here everyone's been in a similar position to you, so there's no shame in that. Having a space that is either free or affordable and not having a time lapse on it, not saying to them you've got a month you've got unlimited time. You can't put a dollar value on it, you just can't. The amount of people that came on board that just wholeheartedly said yes we want to do something about this was incredibly uh, satisfying and rewarding. People that didn't even have a business relationship with us offered to assist. The Halcyon homeowners you know, who took it upon themselves to raise money for the fit out, it's just been unbelievable. You know, it's, it really is, um, it's just quite emotional, it's just fantastic. For our company to be involved, um, it was one of the few things we could do as a business which had tangible outcomes. It's not donating money to a, a nameless charity, you don't really know where your funding is going to go. It's something which is very rewarding and, and you can see the benefits straight away. And that's, that's extremely powerful. I think a program like this sends a really beautiful message to the women and the children who so critically rely on these services, that the community in which they reside in both care for them and that they are not alone. Everyone that worked on the project had that emotional attachment and it was lovely to have that sort of group empathy, I guess, for, for women in need. So it was, yeah, it was a, quite an emotional experience and tears were shed but probably more tears of joy. I think from a company point of view, we would undoubtedly say it's actually changed our company for the better. There's been a real intergenerational silence there that we've tapped into with our homeowners. You know, ladies that are, you know, stereotypically 60 to 75, you know this has touched them. And I think that's, that silence is being lifted. I think that's been probably one of the uh, the really amazing things that's come out of this project. I don't think there's any words to say how proud I am to be a part of it. To see so many people so devoted to something and getting no actual benefit from themselves, it's purely a benefit for people that need it. This will change the landscape of domestic and family violence in Queensland, this alone. So you can only imagine what would happen if we built, you know, four or five of these in the next couple of years think about how it changes the lives of the children, knowing that they can go to bed feeling safe, wake up feeling safe. That's really breaking the cycle and I think uh, incredible impact on families as a whole, uh, incredible. The important thing that Mervac and Halcyon have done is provide a prototype, shown people the way to engage with not-for-profits where there is a need. And I think now that Halcyon and Mervac have led the way, I would expect that members of all different size and located in all different regional locations across Queensland can really take on board what Mervac and Halcyon have done here and apply it in their own context. Well, our purpose at Mervac is to reimagine urban life, which is a very broad and permissive purpose. And we know that people who work for organisations uh, want to work for something bigger than just a profit motive. And within that ambition of reimagining urban life is a very strong commitment to sustainability in its broadest forms, both environmental and social. And I would tell you that Mervac people, to a person, sign up for that. You would find anyone you would speak to at Mervac would believe that we have a responsibility to be a force for good. This is going to be a game changer and really sets the standard for how uh, corporate Australia uh, government and the community sector can work together to change lives. I cannot thank these individuals and these organisations enough for what they have done and for the example that they have set. You will be changing lives. I just want to say that it, this is possible. 
this is actually possible look at it it's happened it's here it's possible we can do this um, in my signature block I have let's change the world this is how we do it 